listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're grinding to level up and pick the 10 best RPGs on PS2. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the best role-playing games the PlayStation 2 had to offer, and believe us, there were a lot of them. What was your favorite RPG on PS2? Let us know down in the comments. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Xenosaga Episodes 1 through 3 Admittedly, we're cheating with this entry by including all three games of the Xenosaga series in one, but considering all three are necessary to get the complete story, we're gonna let it slide because it's our list and we get to make the rules. Understand? The algorithms I have been programmed with do not support the comprehension of illogical human thought. A spiritual successor to Xenogears and a precursor to Xenoblade Chronicles, Xenosaga tackled many of the same serious issues present in its predecessors, such as religion, commentary on humanity's place in the universe, as well as the rise of AI and machines. The story of Cosmos and humanity's expansion into the universe and their fight against the Gnosis for control of a godlike artifact called Zohar offers a refreshingly mature take on the conventional RPG storytelling. Originally planned as a six-part series, Xenosaga was instead cut in half, but still managed to complete its story arc, albeit a bit more abruptly than originally planned. All systems clear. Tales of Symphonia The Tales series is one of the longest running RPG series in gaming, and while it may not reach the same heights of popularity as the Final Fantasy series, it still has a loyal fanbase. Arguably one of the most beloved titles in the long-running franchise is Tales of Symphonia, and with its anime-inspired art style and its easy-to-learn, tough-to-master free-flow combat that requires players to think a bit more strategically than other, more traditional RPGs, it's easy to understand why. The game's themes of symphony play into the story as well, as actions that Lloyd and his companions make in his world can affect another parallel world and can have dire consequences for both. Tales of Symphonia remains the benchmark for the series, and while there have been other equally beloved entries in the franchise, this is the one that made the series what it is today. It looks like it is over. Shadow Hearts Covenant. Set in an alternate history, World War I, full of secret cults and Lovecraftian horrors, Shadow Hearts Covenant earns its spot on our list just for setting and premise alone. However, the game's unique setting wasn't enough, and Covenant had to one-up itself by implementing one of the most intriguing combat systems in any RPG with the Judgment Wheel. In order to use any attacks, spells, or items, the player must land on that section of the wheel and missing the area can risk canceling their turn entirely. This system keeps battles frenetic and unpredictable due to one missed wheel turn completely upending a well-planned strategy or combo. Coupled with a sanity meter and the late game ability to turn into one of numerous monstrosities, Covenant's mature themes and dark Lovecraftian overtones still has fans demanding a sequel even today. That's as much as I can remember. Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King. Ah, so this is what all the fuss was about. As the inspiration for the arguably more popular Final Fantasy series, Dragon Quest still has a rabid fanbase that eagerly awaits any news of future projects in the franchise. The first fully 3D entry, Dragon Quest VIII doesn't stray too far from the familiar RPG format that made it a mainstay in the industry, and it doesn't need to since it created the template to begin with. Everything from its beautiful art style, courtesy of Akira Toriyama, to the compelling story and wonderfully symphonic music, everything comes together perfectly to create one of the best entries in the franchise that birthed the RPG genre and remains one of the best-selling and well-received RPGs on the PlayStation 2 hands down. When you all set off so bravely, 
we decided it was time we did the same. So, perhaps you could fill us in. Rogue Galaxy. Hey, wait a minute. I haven't decided yet. Oh, you'll be there, all right. I can see it in your eyes. You were made for the pirate life. Planet hopping RPGs might be more common nowadays, but on the PS2, they were almost unheard of. However, that didn't stop Level 5 from creating one of their most ambitious RPGs on the PS2. What begins with a simple setup quickly becomes a galaxy-spanning adventure full of planet-hopping space pirates and an evil that threatens the entire galaxy. In addition to its ambitious story, Level 5 carried over much of what made its Dark Cloud series such a success, including real-time combat and a focus on crafting and leveling up your weapons rather than your character. Equally impressive was the tech under the hood, as the entire game featured zero loading screens, which was a technical marvel back in the days of the PS2. Rogue Galaxy has since been ported to modern consoles, so if you haven't already, you owe it to yourself to take a trip into the stars. If you get a chance, could you tell them all about the wonders of civilization for me, would ya? Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance Dungeons & Dragons has had no shortage of video game adaptations over the years, and out of all of them, the Baldur's Gate series is the one most highly regarded and synonymous with the tabletop RPG. Foregoing the turn-based combat of many other adaptations, Dark Alliance uses its hack and slash combat to keep players constantly engaged in battle, running the many calculations and dice rolls off-screen so players never need to worry about anything beyond the many creatures right in front of them. The addition of couch co-op gave fans of Diablo a console-friendly version of the dungeon-crawling RPG, and its straightforward approach to the often complicated tabletop game brought in many new fans who would have never known it was something everyone could enjoy. Dark Cloud 2 This, this was the beginning of a real adventure. Level 5's follow-up to their first ever game managed to not only build on everything that made the first title great, but also expand on the mechanics and create an all-encompassing RPG that still puts many modern RPGs to shame with its breadth of content. Tasked with rebuilding the world, players must battle through randomly generated dungeons to collect geostones and rebuild the destroyed villages while also contending with the many requests of the rescued villagers for a better version of their hometowns. Along with a new art style also came the implementation of time travel that allowed players to travel to the future to see the fruits of their efforts that makes the many battles they faced in their quests all the more rewarding. It's a shame the series hasn't continued, as we'd love to see how Level 5 could have improved on the series even further. The outside world. Right then, my heart was filled with expectation, wondering what kind of places I would find. Kingdom Hearts 2 you're lucky. Looks like my summer vacation is over. The original Kingdom Hearts was a concept that shouldn't have worked as well as it did. Combining elements of Final Fantasy games with beloved Disney properties sounds like a fever dream, but ended up being the start of a franchise with a legion of fans still trying to decipher its overarching plot today. Kingdom Hearts 2 streamlined everything fans loved about the first game and improved upon it. Combat was faster, the story was much easier to follow, there was more diversity in the worlds you visited, Donald was useful, and the much maligned gummy ship sections were actually fun. Square Enix even tapped into the coveted Disney vault and allowed players to explore the worlds of Steamboat Willie and Tron. Kingdom Hearts 2 improved on nearly every aspect and remains many fans' favorite entry in this increasingly convoluted series. Sora, Donald, Goofy, you guys are too much. If you're ever in the mood for some more cosmic razzle-dazzle, give me a shout, okay? Final Fantasy X. It all begins here. The first entry in the long-running franchise on the PS2, every new Final Fantasy game was an event, but there was something different about Final Fantasy X's release. Thankfully, Final Fantasy X more than met the hype and made some huge leaps for the franchise going forward. The first Final Fantasy title to feature voice acting, as we've said for better or worse, fully voiced characters added an extra level of depth to their struggles, as opposed to simply reading about their pain and frustrations, now you could hear it. 
Final Fantasy X was also the first entry to use fully 3D backgrounds, bringing more life to the world as Titus and his companions openly explored the vast and vibrant landscape. Final Fantasy X marked a turning point for the franchise that every future entry has built upon, but at its core, this is the best and most accessible title for new and old fans alike. Persona 4. That's the way so well done! Do some more damage! Go, Senpai! Yes, believe it or not, Persona 4 released on the PS2 almost a full two years into the PS3's life cycle. While many experienced the title on Sony's PS Vita, longtime series fans eagerly dusted off their PS2s for what some would argue is the best entry in the franchise. Arguably one of the most stylistic RPGs on the market, Persona 4 just oozes charm with its instantly likable characters living their day-to-day -day lives, going to class and building friendships, all while investigating a series of murders connected to the TV world. You would think that living out the daily lives of school children would grow tiresome, but the clever writing and numerous twists and turns in the narrative kept players engaged and constantly guessing until the very end. Persona 4 has been re-released numerous times with extra content, and has even seen multiple spin-offs including rhythm and fighting games. Thank you very much! You're really kind, Sensei. I'll try even harder from now on! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.